Hey guys, so just because I move out pretty soon doesn't mean I can't still throw out a theatrical Halloween video. So clearly I'm starting out with a base, Maybelline Fits Me Classic Ivory, and using my foundation brush from XA Beauty. Then I'm going in with Revlon Press Powder and using my powder brush also from XA Beauty to set my face. Then I'm taking both Dark Horse and Neju. Pretty sure Dark Horse was the last shade on the right side of the palette. It has a lot of ashy undertones to it so just basically using that to give my brows the ashy toned effect with the undertone and of course nice divine structured brows. Nothing too soft but not too harsh either. Then I'm taking some of Silhouette on a pencil brush and tracing my upper lash line just to get some eyeliner. I no, don't know what Margot Robbie's makeup artist um, did for the eyeliner, but she's definitely ditched a lot of the parallel to her hair colour uh, colour on the eyes, and she's down to eyeliner now. So you can go in with an actual eyeliner if you want, but I just decided to use a black eyeshadow. Now using my lip to find a brush, I was taking some of, I believe it might have been terracotta onto the lower lashes but because that brush was uncomfortable I went back with my pencil brush but then taking a silhouette just to trace a bit more of an eyeliner I then went back to the lip definer brush. And then taking some more of Niju into my crease for a bit of definition using my Dua Ended ABH brush. Then taking some of Holy Grail and placing this onto my brow bone as well as my inner corners. And then some Maybelline Lash Sensational. And then taking, I think it might be Vampire, otherwise just a middle pink colour, using my first ever bought foundation brush from XA Beauty, but because it was too flimsy for me, I've just been using it as a blush brush or bronzer brush. Either way, sticking some blush onto my face, and then taking some black paint, obviously suitable for your face, as well as a very, very defining paintbrush, and of course adding the staple love heart to my cheek. Finally got the size right this time, compared to last time, when I did my Hallick Win look. Then adding the other staple rotten to my face, just making sure that I'm drawing towards your, you guys. So essentially I'm drawing it backwards on myself. And I've got the whole word right except for the letter N and according to my sister. It was still uh, forwards for us but it wasn't backwards enough. <laughs> and I believe in the post that there are these little dot points in between each letter so I just followed along with my reference photo. Now I'm going in with some Mary Jo K. I was going in with a lip liner at first but not enough of the crayon was coming through so I decided to skip straight to the lipstick. So still using the liquid lip because it is the perfect cherry red tone to what Harley has on her lips. And that is all the makeup through. It's now popping on a ridiculously platinum white blonde wig. I am kicking out these black streaks in it. I mean, there was a Harley Quinn wig at the store I got this one from, but it was her older hair, it didn't have any bangs. So just separating away some tendrils next to my temple, and then brushing the rest up and into a pigtail. And oh my god, this wig felt like shit. It definitely wasn't a light in a box wig. I mean, I could have handed it to Alter Ego for finally upgrading their packaging. You know, I'll give them that, but... Yeah, the texture of the wigs could still definitely be a lot better, even though a lot of the Halloween wigs are just for one time use. So, chucking that little guy into a pigtail and then cutting it downwards to texturize some you know, face framing layers. And whenever you're doing that, make sure that you cut downwards and better yet, use hairdressing scissors. But my logic is scissors are scissors, they all do the same thing, provided they're sharp. So, mimicking the same thing on the other side, kicking about as much of the black streaks out as I can. 
and then chucking the other side up into a pigtail. And then cropping down the other side. As I went along off camera, I did cut the um, side of my hair a little bit more. So now the pigtails, I'm cutting from the bottom to the top, so it gives that nice defined shape, as you clearly see Harley Fletch Margot doing in the trailer. So just pinning the wig back to the front so it's a lot more secure. And then just rearranging the bangs a bit. As you can see, the um, sides of my wig is a lot shorter now. Now I'm going in with I believe that's Dark Horse because it has the right amount of ashy green undertones. So I'm placing this through my roots. At the first, it looks like I'm making a hot mess of it. It's very, very patchy and undignified. But as I went along, and as you clearly got to by the intro, that what I was doing worked out just fine. I just basically giving myself a bit of a root. So obviously, all natural blondes have a root. And I am using another eyeshadow brush also from Inksy Beauty, one that I neglect a lot. But then again, my favourite brush is from the ABH, this duet ended, one for smaller, the other side is a lot bigger. So it's a very versatile brush. But as you obviously saw, I did use the other Inksy Beauty brushes. Now taking Island Glow and Neju, I think that was, just for some yellow tones. Since last time I checked and go figure, Holly's definitely become a lot more of a more true blonde as she as her new hair is. Clearly in her older hair she was a lot more platinum. But now she's got a little bit of multi tones going on. So just basically added this yellow shades in just to keep that yellowy effect. And I still I didn't cover every single strand, just enough to give it a multi-tonal effect. And then a staple blue side on her left. So I managed to find this blue hairspray stuff lying around in one of my boxes in uh, the studio. So I struck luck with this side, but with the other side I had to use pink eyeshadow. So using the same pink that I used for my cheeks, and then using a uh, the same AB Hitch brush. And then cropping down the bangs just a little bit more because she has got a gap missing in her the front of her bangs. As she, you know, clearly cut her hair herself. You don't see her cutting her bangs, but obviously just the ponytails, but it was still pretty clear she cut herself. So now with this outfit, so what I should have done, and what I wish I could go back in time and do, is just simply cut down the middle itself and not worry about the either side. It was separating itself enough as it is due to the tension of my waist, but you know, I still managed to find a way to make it work. So don't follow my example with the size of the, the, sp the size of the space, just cut downwards. But I know that she has overalls, but I strike no such luck with that. So I managed to stick a bobby pin at the back just to pull a bit more tension. And this is it for my Harley Quinn. Thank you all so much for watching, and I shall see you all for my future videos. Ciao!